hey guys so i don't really know what i'm gonna call this video because it's kind of my makeup every day if i'm gonna wear makeup but there's also a couple things which i sometimes forget to do which i'm gonna do today i don't really know what i'm gonna call it but i'm just gonna do my makeup i'm going to properly explain what products i'm using and how i'm using them and that's pretty much it we're just gonna get it straight on and so i'm gonna start off with this maybelline master strobing liquid and what i do is i either put it straight onto my face from the tube or let's get my mirror or i will squeeze some out on the back of my hand and then take my wet beauty blender and apply it to the top of my cheekbones the tip of my nose my chin and my cupid's bow and i always have way too much left over on my hand so if that happens you can either put more on or you can just blend it into your skin <laughs> Okay, lovely. <laughs> so we are looking a little bit crazy right now, but I'm just going to go on with foundation. And I'm using the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation in the shade 03 True Ivory. This one matches me perfectly because it's a lot more of a neutral, more in the yellow side undertone. And that's exactly what colour my skin is. So I always just dot this on with my finger first. I don't really pump it on the back of my hand. I more just pump it straight onto my finger. And I don't do full pumps in one go. I do sort of maybe half a pump. And then I apply more where I feel like I need it or want it. And then... There is quite a few different ways I will apply my foundation. So my go-to foundation brush is the Makeup Revolution powder brush. But as I've said, all my brushes need a wash, especially this foundation brush. And because it is so grimy, it can't blend foundation out nicely. Like wherever shape you move it, it like sticks. It's absolutely horrible. So I've been using the um, Makeup uh, Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, which also needs a wash, but it's as bad. So I'll either just blend it out with a brush, like my whole face, if I'm too lazy to go wet my beauty blender. I don't normally use a beauty blender to do my whole face. I'll sometimes use it just on its own for my forehead, but not as much my full face. Um, but what I am doing quite a lot is I take a brush and I start blending it out. I spread it across my face more so I can get more out of the product. And then I use the, go over with the beauty blender and tap it in to take off the excess of product and push it more into my skin. So I feel like if I go in with a beauty blender first, it does take away, it does take away some of the product, which, which some don't mind. I don't really mind, but... I don't know, I like doing a brush first and then going on with a beauty blender. And with foundation, I don't normally add a second layer. Whatever I put on my face first is sort of what I stay with. And then I'll just add concealer over because I find concealer does a better job of concealing the things that comes that shows through your foundation. I also don't put foundation around my eyes, I just leave that for concealer. I'll get it! Like, you know. So I'm going to move on to concealer. This is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Extra Fair Zero because um, number one's too dark for me. So I've put this under my eyes, on my chin, and then just in a couple other spaces where like redness or that was 
coming through my foundation. I'm just going to blend that in with my beauty blender again. Now I've done my concealer, I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. And recently I've been using this eyebrow pencil from Maybelline. I'm not going to use this today, but this makes my eyebrows look a lot more natural. I've had it on a couple of times since I've got it. But today I'm just going to use what I always use, my e.l.f. eyebrow pomade in light brown. And what I'm doing now, because it's starting to run out, is I'm spraying it with a bit of the Collection Primed and Ready setting spray. Just to make it a bit more creamy again. And I'm using the Wonder 2 double-ended eyebrow brush for that. Okay, so now I've finished my eyebrows, I'm going to go on to powder and I'm going to be using the Rimmel Match Perfection Powder. And the way I do this is I'll tip a bit out into the lid. Then I take the little poof it came with and I dip it in the powder and I press it sort of under my eyes and around my eyes. Down my chin, around my nose. Just the excess powder on the poofy thing. I'll just tap over my face. And then I don't let it sit there for much time. I'll just take the Real Techniques blush brush and I'll just dust it off and sort of blend it into the rest of my face. And then for bronzer, slash contour i'm going to be taking the makeup revolution ultra sculpt and contour kit in the shade ultra fair at co1 i'm just going to be using the bronzer in this sort of around my cheekbones up onto my forehead and like anywhere else i want to be a bit more bronzed And then for blush, I'm going to be using a blush that I don't use a lot and it's the Collection Soft Glow Blusher in 2 Bashful. Apply, I, I start by like applying it here and I drag it up to my hairline. And then for highlight, I am just going to use the little highlight in this set. All my products, they do seem to become a bit repetitive, but there is two makeup orders which I'm planning on ordering, one from Beauty Bay, one from Revolution Beauty, which will incorporate some new products into my everyday makeup routine. So I just take this on this Makeup Revolution, I think it's called a small foundation brush, I'm not sure, on my cheekbones, my nose, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and a tiny bit on my chin. And if it's a bit harsh, I'll blend it out with the Spectrum A10 brush. And I've decided I'm also going to put a little bit of this in my inner corner. I sometimes don't do this today. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to use the setting spray, the collection one, and I'm going to just set my face with it. I don't often do this, it's just some days when I feel like doing it, I do it. And then I just fan my face to make sure it settles into my skin. So I'm going to move on to mascara. I'm not going to put a lot on, I'm just going to put a little bit on, but so I'm not going to put as much as I usually put on. So 
So I've done my mascara. It's not too much. I don't know, my eyelashes are a bit weird at the moment. <laughs> they don't go the way I want them to go. So for lips, I'm going to be using the Sleek Matte Me in the shade Birthday Suit. This is new. I have been worn it before, I don't think. So I'm going to wear it today. What annoys me about these sleek liquid lipsticks is their applicator is really scratchy and not enough product comes off on it. So that is my finished makeup for today. So that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more content from me and I'll see you guys later. Bye!